we're um, a sales and merchandising specialist agency. So organisation manufacturers come to us where they would like to outsource their sales force and or their merchandising requirements. Uh, there are probably several reasons that a manufacturer may consider outsourcing to an SMA. First of all, uh, by the sheer geographical nature of New Zealand, it can be a very expensive model to service when running a sales team. Secondly, a uh, manufacturer often is coming under increased pressure from cost of goods and can't necessarily pass those on to the retailer. And thirdly, the manufacturer may also be in, be in or under increased margin pressure from the retailer themselves. So these increased cost pressures often have to be absorbed despite the fact that the manufacturer still has to provide profitable growth back to their shareholders. In terms of trends, the, the US leads the pack with an excess of 50% of their sales and merchandising force outsourced to service providers such as Crossmark and other SMAs. In Australia, it sits around the 15 to 20%. But we've seen both Coles and Woolworths outsource a lot of their planogram work to SMAs. In New Zealand, it's around the 10% mark. However, uh, that is increasing. Uh, what's been interesting in the last 12 or 18 months is that I personally and uh, fellow colleagues have noticed a change in the type and size of manufacturer that are seriously considering the possibility of using an SMA. So previously it was probably a manufacturer with a turnover up to around about the $25 million mark. Now we're seeing that that has now changed with manufacturers turnover up to about the $60 million mark. And I would imagine and I would predict that in the next 12, 18 months, it'll be substantially higher than that threshold point as well. And a manufacturer is selecting an SMA to ensure they got adequate representation as if they ran their own sales team, there's a few factors to consider. First of all, you need to look at the number of brands that the SMA is representing to ensure that you're getting adequate representation. Now, when I mean adequate representation, I'm talking time in store in front of the category buyer. I'm talking mindset and focus of the actual sales team member and also that the SMA should contract to delivering those KPIs that are absolutely fundamental to you and report back to you on a very formal and regular basis to ensure that they are doing exactly that for you. So what we've done is we've created two offerings and they're very, very distinct. Firstly, what we do at Crossmark is that for manufacturers that turn over up to 25 million, we say we have the syndicated sales team that you might like to come and join and you you join with up with say four to five other manufacturers okay and you get substantial performance benefits as well as substantial cost savings so that works really really well beyond the 25 to the 60 million dollar mark for those that have probably in the past had their own sales team and or merchandising team we have an entirely separate organisation in a separate location with an entirely separate team. That organisation is called Grocery Partners. Grocery Partners will only ever have one or two other manufacturers within it. And it was established to be the absolute gold standard premier sales service in New Zealand. One size doesn't fit all. Syndicated works really well up to a certain point. Beyond that, it has to be very specialist and that's what we believe is where the future is going from an SMA perspective. Mm -hmm.